Ce e? A, oh, boring period. Um, I too um, um, will come back to the proposer of this bill um, with, a, with a small question, um, but I, um, I just want to um, draw some attention to the sections um, in part two, um, in particular to um, clause nine, which is a replacement of section 133 of the original bill. And that deals with the, um, the, the fines that are imposed on people um, who are in, in a, um, a, you know, are liable for a conviction under this new bill, proposed bill. Um, so for the case of an indiv individual, a $3,000 fine um, is, in my opinion, extremely um, deterring for someone that may um, be in contravention of this bill. And certainly uh, for a body corporate, $10,000 is a very appropriate sum. It is, uh, it is a very fair sum in protecting the public good. Um, and sir, so, um, uh, one of the issues that's been uh, taxing me with the um, restrictions on publications, and perhaps the proposer of the bill could enlighten me, is how the um, restrictions will be displayed on any particular publication and how will those um, restrictions be monitored or policed? How do they come to the attention of, um, of the uh, uh, review board? Um, so um, with that short contribution and that uh, question, I well, have, have finished. Mr Chair. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr Chair, and I thank...